While browsing Facebook this week, my wife Judy discovered that our friend Jeff Ballard had passed away. Several months ago, while away from home on business, his heart stopped as he slept. I didn't know at the time because Jeff and I had fallen out of touch and Barbara, his wife, only had an old number for me. We might have never seen each other again, but I never would have and never will forget him. We went to war together, and without doubt, the best moments of 2007 and 2008 in Baghdad were when Jeff and I were together during the winter of 08. Every night we were side by side in a shipping container, just the two of us, looking down on the neighborhoods of the West Rashid and Al Mansour security districts, with a camera attached to a balloon. Most nights we did what's called route scans, panning up and down the same road for hours at a time, just to be sure no one was planning improvised explosive devices. Those assignments were boring, unless I was with Jeff. We trained together in Florida, where we shared an apartment and more than a few drinks. Judy was there, so she and Jeff became friends too. Barbara, Jeff's wife, visited, and that weekend was the best. We all enjoyed each other and had the same concerns for what lie ahead. When Jeff and I and the rest of our team were about to board the flight to Iraq, Jeff hugged Judy and promised her that I would come back. By the time we were able to appreciate each other while doing those route scans outside the Victory Base complex, we had been together on another base where we had endured some very difficult circumstances and hardships and considerable danger. There were situations that strained our friendship. In fact, for a time we weren't friends. I'm very glad we got over that. Jeff's qualities included humor and determination. He was confident, yet at times doubtful, even though he always knew what to do and what was right. He clung to his convictions, but he wanted to know what others thought, and he had an open mind. We talked on the phone several times since our time in Iraq, and he came to see me in Delaware once, but the image of him I'll hold is when we said goodbye for the last time in Baghdad. The experiences we shared were a bond that both of us were sure of. With his death, it's gone, but it was real. The smile on his face that day is the proof of that. I'm lucky to have known Jeff Boward and to have that bond and the memory of his smile.